Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm late. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I'm not late. You guys are just early. Oh, oh thank you, I think. Aslan, I already know what you want, so just dig in. You're awesome. Ew. How's your new job? What's the company again? Yeah, a water company, right? Great! Now I know who to call when my water supply gets cut. <laughs> okay, now hold on your horses, guys. First of all, no. I'm not the right person to complain to when you get your water rationed. That's not what we do. We're not water operators. Don't be so cryptic. Tell us. Okay, I work for this organization called Pengurusan Asset Air Berhad, or PAAB for short. Now basically we own and manage water assets in states that have migrated into the new water regime. Now by managing I mean we develop, maintain and repair water assets such as water treatment plants, reservoirs, pipelines and many more. Now we ensure that the whole country has the necessary infrastructure it needs to produce and supply water and manage these assets properly. So how did you guys come about? Well back in 2006, Parliament passed this Water Services Industry Act you know, to ensure or to establish uniformity in the legislation of providing water and to improve service level to the general public. That, boys and girls, was when PAAB was formed. How does that work? I still don't quite see the connection between you and the water operators. Am I right, girls? Yeah. When a state agrees to be part of the restructuring initiative, PAAB will be taking ownership of the state's water assets. Now, the water operators must then be corporatized and licensed by Suruhanjaya Perkhidmatan Air Negara, or SPAN, the regulatory body. Now, being the owners of the assets, PAAB will manage all the financial and engineering complexities that come with developing and maintaining them. Now, then the assets will be leased back to the operators at an agreed upon rate. The water operators of those states will only need to focus on water treatment and distribution, hence, making them more efficient. Alright, so how many states are already part of this new restructuring initiative? So far we have Malacca, Negeri Milan, Johor, Perlis, Pulau Pinang, Perak, Selangor and Kelantan. So once all states are in, your job is done! Bravo Aslan! Yes. Good job! Yes. I wish, I wish. But there's always continuous development and refurbishment of water assets. Because as the population grows, there will always be demand for clean and sustainable water. You know, so it's a never-ending responsibility. Besides that, we also develop special projects under the federal government initiatives like Langat Dua and Sungai Labu water treatment plants. Now, these two treatment plants have been developed for the sole purpose of ensuring that there's enough water supply for the whole of Klang Valley. We are also constantly on the lookout for technological advancements in the water industry. For example, we've developed this Geographic Information System, or GIS technology, and a Water Assets Management System to ease data collection and management. Now, all the assets information can then be retrieved via an intuitive map-based dashboard. Efficient, right? In other words, PAAB's goal is to assist the government in ensuring sustainable growth in the water services industry for the future. All this while, I just took for granted that getting clean water is just turning on the tap. I'm guilty too, Chris. Me too, Chris. <laughs> <laughs>